What's going on, wrestling fans? Bill Mack here with Pro Wrestling Unleashed. Glad you folks could join me for another video. Don't worry, this won't be a very long video today. Of course, as as you if you can see the picture here and you know the reason of the name of the title for this video, you will see that once again, WWE Vince McMahon has trolled the WWE Universe. And once again, we were fed with hot garbage. Now, this match came from the WWE Crown Jewel, which took place in Saudi Arabia, 12 p.m. Eastern Time here in the good old U.S. of A. Uh, it was a supposed to be four hours. It was a four-hour spectacle uh, pay-per-view, one, one of the biggest of the year. It being outside of the outside of the country, and I thought we were going to get treated to a good pay-per-view or decent pay-per-view at the most. We see we get a lot of hot garbage through the whole night. I don't want to go through all of it. I mean, there were some decent matches for the Best in the World tournament, which is kind of a ripoff of TNA's X, uh, X Cup, Super X Cup. And to me, it was just garbage, uh, especially this atrocity right here. Brock Lesnar, like I said, is once again Universal Champion. The match that we had been given prepare to build up between Brock going one-on-one -on -one with Braun for the vacated WWE Universal title. And it was vacated only because Roman Reigns was diagnosed with leukemia. He's gone to battle now. We hope you get well soon, uh, Roman. And it was left vacated, so it went from a triple threat match to a one-on-one -on -one title. Given the build-up to this, you thought they would put on a good match. It being in Saudi Arabia, not like the hot garbage that any match that this man here has been in the last year, two years, since he's been back, four or five moves, that's him, five minutes, that's him, that's his moves. Braun coming in, everybody was thinking, this is Braun's chance. They won't, they've been saying for months, we want to give some other talent to run. Now that you've got a chance with Roman being out and no, no longer able to compete, and I, and that's a bad thing, but these other stars got to stop uh, to step up and and to go forward with WWE. This was their chance, but as we have seen time and time again, just when you think WWE is going to do something right, they turn around and screw and troll the fans. I've never seen this before, and 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 especially into a worldwide audience going overseas. Not only are we in the U.S. conditioned to their hot garbage, but now we've seen the world having to see it for themselves. And I've never seen so much many problems on social media as Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, people complaining, talking about just how bad, even YouTube, of just how bad these Act, this this act this match was and the pay per view as a whole. P even some people saying Evolution and all women's pay per view was better than this garbage. But to have two matches with the finishes that it did, and I'm only focusing on this one to uh, for right now in this video, is that Brock comes out Baron Baron Corbin, the 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 acting interim general manager of Raw, comes out with the title, which is unlikely to usually to happen because. He never comes out in a match like this for the championship. He holds the title up after the introductions. He hits Braun before the bell rings. Has the referee immediately ring the bell. Brock Lesnar goes to put three straight F5s after three straight kickouts from Braun, which is unheard of for Braun to kick out a three, but he did. So then Brock goes a step further, goes on the outside of the ring, Hits an F5 outside the ring, leaving Braun laying out, uh, out there to be counted out. Braun happens to get up to his feet and make it to the ring count of nine. As he gets to his feet, Braun, Brock Lesnar hits him in another, puts him in another F5, and he is one, two, three, your new Universal Champion. As you can see, this hot garbage right here. And like I said, folks, it's, it's aggravating. To want to see something new. But WWE has that tendency to recycle. Why would you give a man. Just when you have the title appearing every week now. Even though Bronze or Roman had it. It was still on the show every week. Even if it might not have been defended every week. It was still on there. It was good to see. Somebody had it. Now you're going to go with this hot garbage. You're putting it back on Brock. The only way out of this. Is if they come back to Raw Monday night. And have a rematch, and Braun gets it. That's the only thing I could see that would solve this. 
because Vince does not care. He's going to troll the fans. The fans are conditioned. Hit me in the gut, I'm going to take another. Hit me in the gut, I'm going to take another. Punch me in the face, I'll take another. Please, Daddy Vince, let me take another. We'll, we'll continue beating ourselves in the head each and every time. But nothing's going to happen unless there's a movement done or fans just decide to turn it off, quit showing up, quit giving reactions. It's not going to change. She's still going to troll. The message is not getting to them. No matter what low the ratings are, and they've hit lows this past year than they've ever had before, and it sickens me. But to see him win it again, and he's not even here. He's going back to wrestle uh, to wrestle in the UFC uh, in Octagon. He meets martial arts back with Dana White. He's in the pool now. Because if you look at Brock now, look at Brock months ago, he's two different sizes. He's much bigger now uh, than... Than he is now. You can tell his size is a lot smaller. But to have him go through that really sickens me to see this. So if you want to make this right, WWE, give the title to Braun on Monday Night Raw. Give it to something to the fans. Don't you think you owe it to your fans that are investing in your network and investing in your merchandise and your other stuff like that that they invest in? Or are you just going to keep doing what you're doing? But who's to know? You know, I'm for one I'm going to be quit watching Raw just because of Brock being on there and their situation with the title. At least on SmackDown, you have competitive matches. AJ and Samoa Joe put on a good match. So on SmackDown Live, Daniel Bryan, AJ put on a good match. Raw could do the same thing. That's why I don't want anybody from Raw over on SmackDown. So anyway, need to say I'm gonna close this video out. If you like this video, please drop a like on this video. If you're a wrestling fan, subscribe to my channel. If you have anything you want to say, any comments to this or anything else or any other videos you might want to see me talk about, drop them in the comments. I will read it and I will get to your uh to answering your comments and for future videos. So once again, this is Bill Mack with Pro Wrestling Unleashed saying, everybody, take it easy.